Welcome to London Heathrow Airport. We are traveling to Ljubljana in Slovenia today and we will be leaving from Terminal 3. This is the first in a new series of its Paul and Marcus and in this episode we will be taking you through the terminal, well the lounge yeah. that we're going to go to and we think we might be able to access the Cathay Pacific one, we will see. And then a little look at the plane and then we will join you again once we land in Ljubljana. It started to rain here, so we, we better go. get going. Let's start the show.
to go up from here, still got about eight minutes to go to that schedule departure time. So swinging the last of the bags to in the cargo hold and then we shall be away. Uh, we'll be pushed back from here, just a short taxi out from where uh, 27 left here at Heathrow behind us. Uh, so taking off towards the west, it's a left hand turn once we get going. That takes us to the south of the city of London and out over the area you can see. Uh, Once again, flying the whole thing should take us about uh, an hour and 50 minutes. We'll be flying up to 37,000 feet on route. A good look at the charts of today's flight. Looks like it should be nice, smooth conditions on route. Um, if, however, during the flight, we do have to pop the seatbelt signs back on and then you are around in the cabin. That's the last two returns. Alright, that's uh, Enough for me. I'll speak to you once again before we make our approach into the Viana. So in the meantime, I should leave you the making more hands of uh, Callum and the rest of the cabin crew. As I say, switch from the last of the bags and shall be on our way. Oh! Why can I not make a call? Paul, where's the phone? 
It's on this side. Oh. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Hello? Oh, yes, you'd like to subscribe. It's Paul and Martha's on YouTube. going up, but I'm trying to get this out for the going We're here, Paul. Are we? Welcome to Ljubljana and to the best Western hotel salon. We'll be featuring that in one of our Hotels Week series yes. of episodes. So stay tuned for that. But while we're here just now, we wanted to run through what we thought of the Cathay Pacific Lounge, which we were e easily able oh to get into. God. And it was only because you sort of looked up the information and we could go into any one world with our so, BA status. So basically we had the option of Qantas, British Airways, American Airlines, or British Airways. So there, so there were quite a few of them, but the, some of them were only for first class. But I thought that, I, I don't think that we would be exposed to other Cathay Pacific lounges. Mm. So I thought that that would be the best bet. It was very spacious. There weren't that very many people there. I'm just minding that we seem to be standing in a bike lane or something. Anyway. Um, they have fabulous champagne. Oh, yes, they did. They had beer on tap. Heineken, I think it was. No, it was Carlsberg. Oh, Carlsberg, was it? Okay. And they also had a pan-Asian menu on request. So dim sum. Including dim sum. Wonton noodle soup. Korean fried rice. Bao buns. I had the lot. Basically. You did. I had dim sum, but I also had um, I didn't a, really want a sausage, any... the bacon, and uh, an omelette. I think it had cheese and spinach in it. I, it was very nice. And some I cold I basically cups. didn't want to have any Western food. Uh, well, we're at the best Western here. You might have best Western food during this trip. <laughs> um, so I think we highly rated the uh, lounge. The toilets were very clean. We couldn't get any footage in there because they were actually being cleaned at the time we were there. Now, let's move on to the flight. It was a Airbus A320. I was very happy because the seat in front of me didn't come back at any time. And also- We had a spare seat. We had a spare seat. So you were able to sit at the window seat and get some fabulous footage of us taking off in flight and landing again. Um, they did serve um, a bottle of water and a choice of a biscuit or a bag of nuts or something, <laughs> uh, crunchy something. Uh, with my teeth, I can't eat that, so I got the biscuit. But you were away from your seat at the toilet I at the, the time. I had the toilet because I had the alcohol. But they did give you a biscuit. The sweet thing, yeah. Yeah. So I think overall the flight was good. It arrived um, about 15 minutes early. We had to wait for the luggage. We had to wait for the luggage. Um, but um, we decided because it was going to be an hour's wait to get to no, the <laughs> bus to come to the city centre. So we thought, to hell with it, we shall treat ourselves to a taxi. So we're going to get checked in now and then we are going to head out and get something to eat and maybe a drink tonight. And Why that not? will be the final part of this first episode. Oh, Is it down that way? Spas over there. Ah, so you come out and turn, oh yes, turn left. We've just come out of our hotel just over here. And the great thing about the middle of Ljubljana is, is that mostly it's pedestrianized. Yes, buses are here, public transport does come down, I believe, Taxi and comes taxis come down, and there's a van turning, and I think it's like a service vehicle or something. There's a McDonald's right there. So there are options to eat. McDonald's is one of them. Oh, there's, there's people on bikes and things as well, delivery people. Look, what's this little bus that's just... There's a post awesome. office right in front of us. Look, you're, you're missing that little bus there. Yeah, so indeed there is a bus, but I was going to say by and large it is a pedestrian city centre, pedestrian only. We are on the hunt for food now because we've just landed, we've just checked in and we need something to eat. So let's see what we can find. So just walking down the street there's this lovely little bookstore here. 
it'll be mostly in Slovenian, I suppose. Paul's just spotted another McDonald's. What's this? Puffy little pancakes. Oh, look at this. There's an absolutely enormous bear here. Uh, Paul? Paul? Look at the bear, my dear. Very large bear. Okay, that's the pancake bear. Yeah, it is a pancake bear. Puffy little pancakes. <laughs> I like the name of that. Okay, what else is there? Office shoes. I think a lot of these places do close like around six. Oh, right. Okay. But, but I think that the eating places don't close until about nine. Oh, right. Or ten. So there's yeah. this place. This place looks like it's time or something. Hit walk. Yeah. That's a possibility, I suppose. And we're coming down into one of the main squares, and this should lead us down to the river. Now, would you like to pronounce the name of the river? It's a little bit like <laughs> Ljubljana. I think it's the Ljubljana or something. Oh dear. I don't know, is it? We're going to get lots of comments about how we're butchering the language the very moment we've just landed here. Wow. Look at this square, and up at the top up there, there is... Is that the castle? do you think? Oh, uh, perhaps. It might be. Well, we'll be going there later during our stay. Wow, this is quite lively, is it not? It certainly is. There's quite a nice vibe about it. We've got someone playing the accordion, which my father would have appreciated. And we have a statue here of Preseron. Perhaps someone would like to let us know who that is. Now we have someone speaking something. We'll probably comment about us in a moment as well. But I do believe this is one of the bridges. Oh my God, is this the river? I thought it was going to be wider than this. Oh, gosh, it's not that wide at all. Oh, look, ducks. I had this vision of a really wide river. Why? I don't know. <laughs> and I'll tell you where we're standing. We're on the three bridges because look, there are three bridges simultaneously made of this sort of um, granite, I suppose it is. And you can walk like zigzag the whole way along. Oh, this is fabulous. This is the three bridges. And we're going to be going to a bar later on, and it's on the other side, and I shall find. We might be able to just find it now. Um, we were going to leave our bags and stuff back later before we went. But I think sometimes it is better to scope it out before the... Before it gets dark, yeah. And this is the thing, that, yeah, we... I think it was when we were in Dubrovnik, we did a, an early sort of recce of where we were going to go later on. But I thought it was going to be further away than this. How far is it? Well, it said it was just up here, and then I think it was up to the left or something. And it's called Prigi. Something like that. Let's see if we can find it. Wow, Marcus, who is this? Adam Bohorek. Yeah, he's Prudy Slavensky Slavinko. De Lovka. V. Stanowski. Please leave a comment so that we know who this guy is. Sorry for not knowing. Oh look Marcus, there is a store called DM. We have seen this before. Oh yes, DM is, it's like a pharmacy. European. Like boots, I think. Yeah. We've Where seen it in do Germany. We... No, like we saw it like in Athens too. It's a bit like boots. Well, the bells are ringing. Look at this structure. Do you know what else I see behind it? Free Willy. Look. Free Willy over there. You have to watch out for the bikes. There's lots of delivery people. Oh, the bells is nice. Free Willy. Available here.
So, Paul, we found the bar that we're going to go to later. Oh. Yeah. So, you might be able to get a little bit of sneaky coverage in there later right. on. But I think right now, at least now we know where it is. And we've oh, come into. We need into, some food. Yeah, we need food. This is, I, I guess this is like another shopping area. Yeah. But there's probably somewhere to eat as well. We're down by the river. There's lots of restaurants down here. We've got a Pricey. couple. Well, sort of. Some of them. There was a place that did burgers for about 16 euro, which wasn't that bad. Um, but we just decided to have a walk around and then find somewhere after that. But it's nice at this time of the evening and it's quite warm as well. Um, just down by the river, this very narrow river. And we've walked the whole way round. I think we're back at the... Almost. Almost at the three... No, it's called the Triple Bridge. Yeah. The Triple Bridge. Sorry. Three bridges is in England. <laughs> but it's the same sort of concept. Mm. Oh, this is a glass bridge. Let's take a look at this. Oh, look. That's interesting. There's a sticker that says Bristol City. Oh. <laughs> So we've had a Bristol City fan here, but look how picturesque this is, lovely. It's so peaceful. There's a burger bar over there, I see. Craft beer. Oh, maybe that's the one. What do you think, Paul? But you want it Chinese, you said. Do we need to get your milk first? Well, there's a spa which we're gonna go into for some milk, um, but it doesn't close till later, so we're okay. We have been walking around quite a while, it's dark now, but we find this secluded area with three restaurants. One of them is called Cutty Sark Pub. Pub, and they've got Guinness. And there is a Pad Thai restaurant, I think, and then also a Mexican one. And you said you were in the mood for Mexican, isn't that I right, Paul? So. Well, let's go take a look. Well, I think that was a very good find, this Mexican restaurant. Were you feeling Mexican? <laughs> well, I am now. Um, do not see my sombrero. But, um, no, the good thing was, with the meals that we got, I was thinking, oh, I wanted some garlic bread with it. And then the guy said, oh, you get three sides as well. Mm -hmm. So it was quite good. It was only 14 euro each, roughly, and 370 roughly each for the beer. And we've had so much to eat now that we don't feel like going back to that bar. No. So it will be another day, so that will appear in one of our other episodes from here. But before we go, I did want to say that earlier on, we arrived at the airport a little bit early, and I think I might have... Did I say earlier that we were going to wait for the... Uh, either wait for the bus, um, which would be four euros... Um, but we, we were going to, yeah, we took a taxi because there was going to be a wait of over an wow. hour. Yeah. Anyway, we went to the taxis and I'd read online that it's roughly around 40 euro, but you uh -huh. do have to speak to them. They uh, quoted a 70. Yeah. So this guy quoted a 70. I said, no, <laughs> no I'll just take the bus instead. And we walked off and then this other guy came up to us and he says, he says, where are you going? And um, how, how much? And I said, well, I read online 40 to go into the, the city centre. He says 50. And you didn't want to do it, Paul. I didn't want to. <laughs> but I thought, I've bartered down from 70 to 50, and I don't want to stay here for another hour. No. So we took it. And I actually gave him a five euro tip as well. Although he was driving <coughs> slightly erratically. We're coming down into the square again, where we were earlier, and I hear music playing. So I think that would be the ideal spot to finish this episode.
Well, that's it from this first episode from Ljubljana, but we have a few more episodes to come. But before you go, for those of you that have liked our channel today, please hit the like button and give us a thumbs up. For those of you that haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. It costs nothing and it will help us along our journey to reach 1,000 or more subscribers. It certainly will. And we'll see you next time. Cheerio. Bye. Bye.